Hi guys! My name is Dr. Maya Mikhailovich. I'm a PhD coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to email PIs to ask about the possible postdoc position in their lab. This is relevant to positions in STEM. And uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about cold emailing, that is, emailing uh, uh, about uh, positions that are not advertised. This is how I found my two postdoctoral positions in science, one in the US and uh, another one in Switzerland. If you want to uh, find out more about my, my story, you can watch my video on uh, how to find uh, funded postdoctoral positions. Okay, let's start. Let's say you're looking for a postdoc position in STEM. You have selected several possible research groups and now you would like to contact them. One of these groups is a group of Professor Jane Smith. You did your homework, you checked Professor Smith's website and you read about her research projects. You also read uh, or at least skimmed some of her papers. So you have a clear idea what research is done in her lab and you are also, also genuinely interested in joining her lab and doing your research in her lab. And you think you would be a good match. So what's now? The next step is to email Professor Jane Smith and to ask her about the possibility of doing uh, your postdoc in her lab. Before writing your email, you should have your CV ready. Now let me uh, say a few words of, uh, about CV. Uh, first, you should customize your CV to emphasize your experiences and skills relevant to Professor Smith's research. Then you should include the list of your publications in your CV and also you should include names and contact information of, uh, such as uh, email and uh, phone number of uh, two or three references. I think it's the best to save your CV as a PDF file. If you're sending additional supporting documents along your CV, I recommend you to make a, a single PDF file. Now that you have your CV ready and uh, you did research about professor's research, you're ready to write email. Don't start with the writing professor's email address yet. That's something that I, uh, I like to do at the end. So we will start with subject line. Subject line should be clear and to the point. It can be something like uh, inquiry about a postdoc position. Then start writing your email. You usually start with the salutation such as dear Professor Smith or dear Dr. Smith. You should write the professor's last name in salutation so that your email will not look generic. In the first paragraph of your email, you should introduce yourself. Write your name. Mention why you are emailing the PI. It should be something I am emailing you to ask about a possible postdoc position in your lab. It's good that uh, PI knows from the very beginning what, why you are emailing her. In the next sentence, you can mention if uh, someone have recommended you the PI's group or uh, if you have met her previously, say at a conference or uh, you attended her seminar or so on. Then say a few words about your degree, university, advisor's name, your research area, and so on. If you can't start your new position immediately, then you should state, state it here so that uh, uh, PI would know that, that. And also you should say when you will be available to start your new. The next paragraph of your email is very important. In that paragraph, you should show Professor Smith evidence that you know what research is going on in her lab and that you want to work exactly in her lab. So in this paragraph, you should write why you are interested in, a, uh, in a, their research. 
What proje projects are you particularly interested in? And how your expertise is related to these projects? In the next paragraph, you should write about your research skills. Here, you should mention skills, techniques and experiences that are related to PI's research. If you don't have these skills, then you can mention what you would like to acquire in her lab. What do you want to learn in her lab? And also show your motivation to learn. In the last paragraph of your email, you should express your enthusiasm and interest in the position. Also, here you should uh, mention that uh, you are sending your CV and supporting documents uh, as uh, attachment. Attach your file and finish with uh, uh, sincerely or best regards or something like that and write your name. Before sending your email, you should always read your email and correct mistakes. Also, double check if you have attached your file. And at the end, you should enter PI's email. I like to enter email address as the last step to prevent accidental email sending. So when you did all of this, then you are ready to send your email. Now comes the difficult part, I know. You have to wait for a reply. Sometimes you get reply fast, sometimes you don't. So if you don't get reply from PI, you can email her again in a week or two to remind her about your previous email and to ask about any news. If you did send your follow-up email and you still don't get reply, then just move on. You can't do anything about this. But don't take it personal because it happens very often in academia. So that's all for this video. I hope this material will help you find your next postdoctoral position. I wish you good luck in your search for your postdoctoral position. If you like my video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel.